2014 was actually one of the most devastating years for children. I mean, you've seen millions of children affected by conflict and natural uh, disasters, you know, displaced, affected by violence, uh, deprived of education. And then on top of that, obviously, we also had the Ebola crisis in West Africa. So, you know, all in all, it was a terribly bad year uh, for children last year. When you step into a situation like I did and like other ambassadors do, it, it, it shocks you. I was always told how great UNICEF were as a, ch as a charity and, and the work that they did. But until you're actually there on the ground, you don't see the great work that's being done. And it outweighed anything that I ever thought about what people did for UNICEF and what you know, the staff did, because it, it, I mean, it truly is incredible. The last 10 years, I've been able to go on a few trips. My life has been not just about the football, it's been about helping others as well. I am a father, I am a husband. You know, I've got four amazing kids that thankfully are healthy uh, and live a great life. It makes me proud to, to be able to tell my children about, you know, what I'm doing and, and the stories that I hear because they're not easy stories to listen to. After my Philippines trip, I sat down with my oldest, uh, Brooklyn, and told him about the story. Uh, when I met the family, lost the little girl, Viana. It gives me goosebumps now because it was a devastating story to hear. You know, I'm an emotional person anyway, but to sit down with, a, with parents and, and have them tell me about losing, you know, their little girl, that was, I mean, it was heart-wrenching. I always felt that I should be doing more. I wanted to help in a much bigger way, a different way, a way that has never been done before. 2015 is going to be a year when global leaders meet and come up with new development goals that is going to be crucial you know, for children, for their future. And that's why we feel that 2015 is such an important year to launch this partnership between UNICEF and David Beckham. We came up with a seven fund. Um, obviously seven is a very important number to me, it always has been. I wore it as a kid, I wore it for Ridgeway Rovers. Uh, I wore it for Brimsdown when I played for them, a Sunday league team. My little girl's middle name is Seven. Uh, I've worn Seven for Manchester United, obviously, for England. I'm retired, but still wearing the number Seven. Seven different countries, seven different initiatives. Initiatives that UNICEF have made me aware that really needs the most attention. The long-term aspirations are to help children get education, to help children have protection from HIV and AIDS, to help children get water. Seven is a truly unique partnership between uh, UNICEF and David Beckham and it provides a, a, a unique platform both uh, to advocate for those children, for their rights, but also to fundraise and to make sure that they get you know, the basic services they need, for instance, in education, in health, in water and sanitation, and in protection. We are shining a light. We are raising funds. We are helping millions of children around the world. I, stepping up to the plate and, and putting this fund together with UNICEF, yeah, there's a big responsibility behind it, and there's certain expectations that we will meet. I can't stress how important this is. I know what it takes to be successful, and I know what it takes to, to make things happen. It's a bold move from UNICEF. It's a bold move from myself to get involved in this, but it's an important one.